the Daytona 500, what is known as the Great American Race. We're here today for the Samsung Racing Series. We're going to do 10 laps at this 2.5 mile super speedway, and we're ready to get things started. Here, here is your starting lineup for today's race. On row number one is the 19 of Alan Cavagnero and the 55 of Carter Fargo. And row two is the 41 of Elliot Vogel and the 88 of John Stewart. And row three is the 40 of Best Jimbo and the 24 car of Ian Dutta. And row four is the 45 of Alphonse Jackson and the 6 of Sam McMillan. Next is the 21 of Jonathan Skibnicki and the 48 of Ian Perez. Then you got the 43 of Hunter Ellis and the 5 of Nick Musiola. Then you got the 01 of Damon and the 36 of Mills. So we're going to do 10 laps, as I said earlier, at this 2.5 mile super speedway for the Daytona 500. So let's get you down to the green flag. Alan Cavagnaro and Carter Fargo are going to lead us. All right, here we go. Alan Cavagnaro leads us to the green at Daytona. Here they go down the back stretch. Elliot Vogel immediately slips in the second. As here we are on to lap two. Best Jimbo is trying to take the lead now. And here they go down the back stretch and into turns three and four. Jonathan Skavnicki in second. Now we are going to do a silent lap three in honor of Dale Earnhardt. Best Jimbo leads lap three, but it looks like the 43 of Hunter Ellis is going to take the lead. And we got a crash on the back stretch. The 24 of Ian Dutta is around. Looks like he just got a tab from his teammate Ian Perez. He will get off a of pit road, and it looks like the pace car his lights are out, and we're going to go re restarting here. And they're already three wide for the lead. Skibnicki makes a move to the bottom. He's going to take the lead through turns three and four. Damon moves into second. Sam McMillan moves into second now. Here they go down the back stretch once again. Two teammates right at the front with two laps to go. When is Sam McMillan going to make his move? People are sho shoveling around in the back. White flag is in the air. Jonathan Skivnicki gets freight trained. They make contact down the back stretch. Oh no! Sam McMillan is in the air. The 36 of Jackson Mills is going to win the Daytona 500. Look at that carnage of that last lap rack. That is nuts. Damon finishes with a blown engine. Well, not with damage. And congratulations to Jackson Mills for getting his win. All right, so here's your Daytona 500 finishing order. Um, winning the race after a crazy last lap turn of events was the 36 of Jackson Mills. Close behind him was the 88 of John Stewart. Behind them was the 24 of Ian Dutta, who was kind of in the back all day but made a strong comeback at the end. Then was the 5 of Nick Musiola. Um, finishing fifth was the 55 of Carter Fargo. Finishing behind him was the 19 car of Alan Cavagnero, who started on the pole. Behind him was Best Jimbo in that 40 car. Behind Best Jimbo was the 48 of Ian Perez. Behind them was the 45 of Alphonse Jackson. Hope I said that right. Then, finishing next was the 41 of Elliot Vogel. Now now are the cars that got involved in that last lap crash. You got the 01 of Damon, 21 of Skivnicki, the 43 of Hunter Ellis, and the 6 of McMillan. All those cars had strong runs today, but on the last lap, just things went horribly wrong. So, congratulations to the 36 of Jackson Mills, and we will see you next week at Rockingham.